Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are talking about an unlikely, some might even say unholy pairing. This is two of the most popular projects on GitHub and they're very dissimilar. The first one we have is React Native. Now I have zero experience with React Native, it's not really my world. I'm aware of it and I've used apps created using React Native. Now this is actually a project by Meta um, and it's for creating, basically taking web coding technologies and making native applications out of them. So there's the React framework or a UI framework. React Native brings the best parts of developing with the React to native development. So you're using JavaScript libraries for building user interfaces, but you can have native code on the back end for performance. So uh, it opens up native, which basically native just means like runs on that device in that device's binary format. So it's giving you that ability um, to create them uh, locally for the variety of different operating systems. So um, um, in terms of apps that were actually creative using this, so Meta released it back in 2015 and have been hitting it since. Other people, including like Microsoft, have used it as well. And you can see apps that were created using it include Game Pass, Facebook, uh, Shopify, uh, PlayStation, Tesla, Discord, you name it probably created using React Native. So React Native is used to create a ton of applications. So why the hell are we talking about this on a game development channel? Well, the the pairing that we're talking about today is with the Godot game engine. Godot is a free and open source 2D and 3D game engine. If you are regular to this channel, you know all about Godot. I have talked about this game engine a number of times. Here you can see the Godot editor in action. Um, more and more projects are being created using Godot. It is getting uh, definitely um, moving up in the popularity scale of things. So why would you want to use these two together? Well, what this enables you to do is use Godot inside of a React Native app. So if you needed to do rendering and game-like stuff, but you wanted to work with React for your UI layer, you can. So how the hell can you do this? You use something called, and this one, they had to have thought about this name for a very long time, because this is brilliant. React Native Godot. <laughs> I'm kidding here. But anyways, this is a project that is basically bringing Godot to um, React Native. It actually embeds it. So you can see here React Native embed Godot engine in React Native apps. This is an MIT licensed project, uh, very new in that regard. So you can see here, so React Native allows embedding the Godot engine into React Native applications. Uh, React Native, so born React Native Godot was created by Born and developed by McGarren in close collaboration between the two teams. So this is two different teams. These guys do like media stuff. This guy created a library we're going to talk about in just a second. So the main features of this, so you could support Android and iOS built on top of Lib Godot. Spoiler alert, that's the library we're going to talk about in just a second. Uh, stable implementation serving millions of users in Born's applications. Support starting, stopping, and restarting of the Godot game engine. Uh, when restarted, the game engine can be reconfigured so a different Godot app may be loaded each time. So you could host different experiences that you, you know, GD script things that you wrote yourself. You could switch between them. So you have like a main menu and then fire off a Godot instance and then you could quit it and start a new one. I think that's pretty much what that is all about. So you can structure a game or your app into multiple Godot projects and switch between them. Um, and Godot is running on a separate thread, so it does not affect the main thread of the application, nor the React native JavaScript thread. And the Godot main window and sub windows created by the Godot app may be embedded into the React native application, either on the same screen or on separate screens. And the whole Godot API is accessible using TypeScript or JavaScript. It is possible to instantiate objects, call methods, get and set properties, attach JavaScript functions to signals, provide JavaScript functions as callables to Godot, etc. That means if there is something like uh, a function that takes um, as a parameter or another function, you could pass in your JavaScript or TypeScript code or vice versa when you've got signals in Godot, these are like events that are fired. Like if you click on the screen or something like that or the scene change, something like that, you can have it respond to those signals and call your JavaScript code. So this is going to provide um, two-way communication between JavaScript slash TypeScript and the Godot application. So full details of getting started are here. Now, the big reason we're not gonna have a demonstration today is I don't use React Native and getting it up and running means basically installing a React Native development environment with things like Node and Ruby or ASDF is a project manager they use. On top of that, I think there's a little bit of yarn action here and so on. I'm not gonna go through the process of setting this all up because quite frankly, I, I don't know React Native. So I'm mostly, this is a the more you know kind of announcement, but if you're interested, full walkthrough 
walkthrough of how to get things set up and built here are here. You can see an idea of what Godot looks like inside of your React code, like simple right there. So there is a Godot view embedded in. And here you can see initializing a Godot instance available here uh, and so on. So that gives you an idea of what the code looks like. Uh, the Godot app in, um, initialization to the app component is done here. Pretty straightforward. Here's how you actually stop Godot. And it's got basically a mapping of the Godot API. So there's a Godot API, API entry point in RTN Godot.API that you can use that to call things. For example, the engine singleton is available via Godot, uh, which is this uh, dot engine, for example. And here you can see using the vector2 class, you just do godot.vector2. So the entirety of the Godot API is exposed. Here you can see passing in code to attach to a signal. Again, a signal is like an event that is fired from Godot. And here's how you can handle the button press signal, for example, calling your code. It actually looks very clean. It doesn't look like a hack. There's no marshalling going on here. It's, it's like a very well done deal. And then again, bunch of uh, more documentation on getting up and going. Uh, there's also, if you want to build your own thing, they, they do offer commercial support for this project if you run into a particular problem, but the entire project itself is MIT licensed. So that is it. Again, this was built on top of a license I told you about, libgodot. Now I'm gonna talk about something interesting in a little bit. Uh, it has, there is a new update to go along with this release here. Um, and then, which is strange because there hasn't been a commit in a very long time, but there, there must be a development branch that's going on somewhere that's more up to date. Uh, but that, yeah, so that's the version that is up to date. You also notice Swift Godot is being tagged in here as well. So this is a version of, is, is a project for exposing the Godot game engine as a static or shared library. So you can expose game engine controls, the GDScript API, etc. So that is what, what is enabling this communication back and forth. Basically it turns Godot into a library that you could embed into other processes. So again, you can embed Godot into other applications, use it for automation of development tasks, uh, or control the Godot engine from a host application as examples of what this is capable of. You can use this for C++, etc. In this particular case, they have bound it to React. So this is the secret sauce behind the scenes that that is making this all possible. And then over here, you can see this is the example code. So example, this is the entry level app. You get an idea of what code looks like to go ahead and create a React Native application that talks to and uses Godot. So you can see initializing the Godot API right there, making a vector, they're setting up the vector, they're setting up the uh, an engine reference, there is getting access to the main loop, uh, and then here getting the root of the scene tree in Godot. That is what it looks like. It's it's pretty clean and straightforward on the whole. Now, what is interesting, again, this is linked to Swift Godot. I don't know if those two projects are uh, tied together, but this was one that was done to bring Swift to the Godot land. And I think that this may actually be using that Godot library. But what I find really interesting, and this is, I'm not 100% certain of, but this was just released recently. And once Dev 3 comes out, I'm going to do a video about uh, the Godot 4.6, Dev 1, Dev 2, and Dev 3 all together. I haven't covered these previews yet because it wasn't really enough in Dev 1 or Dev 2 to do dedicated videos on. So like I said, the next version, I'll throw it all together. But one of the features of the most recent Dev release of the next version of Godot, that being Godot 4.6, is going to be the ability to build the Godot engine as a library, which ironically, internally, they are calling libgodot. <laughs> so um, this is exactly the same thing as this project right here, including having the exact same name. I'm assuming they're completely separate projects, but I don't know. This may actually be, this this uh, entry here uh, may actually be built onto this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're related or it's just a coincidence that there are two projects out there all about making Godot available as a library so you can embed it in other projects. Interesting that that's going on. If you know specifically if these are unrelated, do let me know in the comments down below. But at the end of the day here, what we have is React Native, one of the most popular cross-platform development frameworks out there right now, and the Godot game engine, uh, which would, be, of course, be this guy right here, a free and open source engine now can work together via this project right here called, predictably enough, React Native Godot. Are you a React developer? And if so, are you going to play with this? Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.